boys? Roberto and Tomasino, how are you boys? Good, good, you good. You yep. look yes, good, we can. Man. Finally, finally. <laughs> we got it going. <laughs> you look good, man. Introduction. Welcome. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> Welcome to the one with Bob and Tom, too. We have a great guest joining us today. If you live in Regina, you've likely visited his great deli on Victoria Avenue. We love their sandwiches, sodas, and, and cheese. cheese. I actually ate seven different cheeses once at their shop in the forthcoming video. Remember, you can post questions for our guests at any time in the comments. We're joined by Carlo, the owner of Italian Star Deli. Man, what an introduction, you boys. Very nice. How you guys doing, man? What's going on? Good. Well, you know, we have a, I, I shouldn't say, we have a lot of questions. Uh, can you tell us the comic book origin story of the shop? The uh, comic book origin? The, like, yeah. the, uh, like, what's that mean? Like, how, how it came about? Kind of like, kind of like, how the shop began. How the shop began. Thank how you, was created. created. How the how shop it started. How it started. How it started. You know what? It's uh, like every boy's dream. Like your age. I was your age. Uh, a little, little bit younger. In 1966, my parents bought this place. It was a confectionery. And at that time, it was just like candies and chocolates and that sort of thing. So me and my brother thought we scored it big. So that was 1966, boys. So from there... We grew a little bit, because uh, you're a beast on the cheese, man. You love the cheese. So that's how it started. It's just a yeah, very, it's very simple. Back then, you know, milk yeah. and bread. And so 1966 is a long time ago. 52, 53 years. 54, actually, now. On the 55th, we should do something big. You let me know, man. You guys, you guys are the superstars here. You tell me how we can make it work. Anything you want to do. What has changed in the store, store since the pandemic? So, uh, you know what? We've uh, reduced our hours, boys. And uh, we've uh, had to let some staff go, which is sad. So we're still operating. You know, still products coming in. Uh, so that's uh, the gist of it. It's such an early stage in this uh, whole new uh, you know life for all of us so we're just adjusting it right now but we're still business as usual just you know shorter hours less staff and still got a lot of cheese for uh, Bob to love and Tom to, to spit out yeah. no problem <laughs> if I look this way I'm looking at what you're doing and if I look this way I'm looking at a monitor so <laughs> somewhere. Matt, Matt. Are we bored? We are not bored, actually. We found a way to amuse ourselves. Either going outside or... Leave the cat. Oh. <laughs> no cat screaming. Yeah. <laughs> That's Talk what I was going to gonna ask you guys. Yeah. I was going to ask you guys, uh, how, how, how are you keeping busy? Nobody's learning to play the juice harp or nobody's learning to play an instrument or the finger symbols. You guys aren't taking nothing up? Oh, uh, well, what... I'm learning saxophone. He's learning euphonium. We haven't tried those in a while. I've actually learned two. I've learned the trumpet and the euphonium. Nice. Yeah, no, it's great to learn music, man. It's good. That's yeah. uh, that's how you get, uh, you know, to get. Um, what what musician want in life? That's the question to you. What is musician want in life? Sorry. We you can. Well, just get a little bit of breakups. Yeah. Come on. How many of Okay, what's your next question, guys? Oh, oh right. We were just kind of uh, spinning in our brains. Uh, what <laughs> are your hobbies besides spinning knives as displayed in our forthcoming video? <laughs> what are my hobbies? I like yeah. that spinning eyes one, man. I never took nobody's ear off, right? Everything was good. Nobody got hurt. That was a, nobody that was got hurt, man. but we don't want to. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Nobody got, nobody got hurt. That's good. That's a nobody. good thing. I'm proud of 
proud of that. That was, uh, that was, that was a fun time, guys. You gotta thank you for that. So, uh, hobbies for me, I've always played the drums. I've done it, played it in bands. You know, I used to fly a lot of RC aircraft, like, you know, the, the remote control aircraft in the air, you know, oh, uh, with the gas yeah. and that. That was pretty cool, man. So I still got some stuff. If you guys ever come to our house, which you're welcome to, bring Terry, bring your mom. You'll see all my crap downstairs, drums and planes. You know, you'll see some He loves to play the drums. I, he wants to play the drums, but I want to learn guitar. Yeah. Listen, get a couple more uh, uh, girls in the family, a couple more boys. Tell your mom and dad to get busy. Get that Partridge family thing going. Make a band. We need the massive. <laughs> Did you get that? No, it's breaking up for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy, man. Crazy. Too many, too many people on the internet right now. Do you have any family in Italy that was affected by COVID-19? You know, I have uh, cousins and aunts and uncles there. So they're all isolated. They're in uh, oh. in the region where we're from is Molisa. So they're not in the, in the epicenter of all that, the, you know, the real... Lombardo region, but so yeah, they're there, but they're safe now. So they got their cantinas full of wine. They got their cheeses that uh, Bobino loves. So they're in good shape right now. They're fine. What are you drinking? Top chocolate milk. That was I bet you, that, that better not that better not be whiskey, man. If there's whiskey, I'm there's some trouble. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> chocolate milk. Okay. How has Regina reacted to COVID in your shop? Everybody's conscious now of uh, that uh, distance between each other, six feet. So they're conscious of that. We let five people in at a time. So they're outside lining up, waiting to get in. So people are very courteous. You got some people that are very, very edgy, man. People are, are like really, you know, uh, paranoid. So the customers have definitely adopted this new form of touching each other and you know how much we love to touch right we're italians man that's all we do is hug and, and kiss so everybody's being careful so it's been it's been really good there's been no issues at all so any viewer new viewers who joined you're allowed to comment questions just put them in the chat and it, is it quite busy today yeah it's a good day you know it's uh we're, we're about half speed what we normally do so today it's, it's been good. Lots of prep, lots of lots of takeout to the curbside deliveries. Uh, yeah, we're we're still good, you guys. You know, uh, we're thankful for that. For us, we're thankful because we're still able to operate. So many people have uh, no chance to operate at all. You guys see Gino? Look, at hey. there's, there's that gangster right there. Hey, L.E.G. Hey. Holy smoke. Look, he's got a bag of flour. What are you doing with that flour, Gino? Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. Look at There's somebody having a party right there. Yeah, so we're okay, brothers. Thank you so much. That's Good a lot of flour, question. eh? All right. Uh, what do you think about the popular campaign shop logo? Uh, I love it. I mean, you know, I think that campaign was going on for a while. People always uh, were conscious about local businesses. And, and this town and this city and this province has always been supportive by that, if you ask us, because we've been here for a while. So that's a great, uh, it's a great message that they're sending out. And I think it's more... <laughs> more important now because of how so many businesses are suffering because they're not even able to open, right? So yeah, it's a good one. For a second, I thought I heard a fire alarm. <laughs> That's the phone. <laughs> Has your supply chain been affected? If so, how? The supply chain is still working fine. So we got, we got everything we need. Not a problem. We're not dealing with the, uh, toilet paper and the hand sanitizer so we're good we got all the cheeses you love don't you worry man you got to come in and get it so this guy asked how how did you guys get to talk to Todd Kurtz we literally just posted and asked we did with Carlo we just said uh so do you want to meet us at one o'clock and do it because we did a video with Todd Kurtz before and too we just you all you have to do is just ask yeah, that's not a bunch of people. That's good, man. That was a good one, too, by the way. That was a good one. Like, just ask. It's all you have to do. Um, you guys remember that when you're growing up and you're dating women? 
Okay, so listen, you want to go out, just ask. You want to go for coffee, just ask, okay? You want to go for a dance, just ask. Don't be shy. <laughs> That's a rock and roll right there. <laughs> Have you done cooking tutorials, online cooking classes, etc.? If not, do you think you will? You know, uh, uh, man, that's a great, uh, that's a great question. Everybody's really into this, uh, you know, cooking and all kinds of, uh, you know, cuisine, Italian, Chinese, whatever it might be, right? So we've always thought about that. We don't know how we can implement it if we can, but uh, I wish my mom was still here and young enough because she would be here ha just taking care of that business. So in the future, it's always in our thoughts but we haven't got anything in the planning stages to get it going. Uh, but I never say never about that. Never say never. I like to show you how to cook some carbonara, man. I, I can twist a few pastas on, on my spoon. I'll give you guys a show. Do, what do you think the future holds after COVID? The world, what's going to happen to the world after COVID? Or your shop. The shop? Well, hopefully nothing changes for us. Uh, no, Bob, but uh, I think the world's in for a big change. I mean, there's going to be some stuff going down the pipe, man. Like, you know, things are different, right? You know, a lot of businesses aren't going to be able to open up again. And I don't know, man. You know, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. This is something I've never seen. You know, I've never been through any kind of First World War or Second World War, seen what kind of, you know, disasters and how how country comes back. But it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we're all still here enjoying each other and uh, – Everybody's able to make a living. So for us, that's what we're hoping on. Yeah. What do you gonna... think? What What do you see going on? Like what's What's in your minds? Like what, what When you guys see this thing, because you're young, and you know, and I've never seen this in my in my lifetime, and I'm old. How does this react to you guys? Like what are you sitting there going? Do you go, holy crap, or is it like, does it matter to you? How's your views on that? Uh yeah, like, I'm kind of like, oh, my God, this is just messed up. Like, I, it's not messed up, but it's I, scary. I, I, it's kind yeah. of weird. I don't, like, um, I, it's not very, like, the world is kind of getting a little old. Yeah, I work, like, whenever I go on a bike ride, I'm, like, trying to avoid talking to any people. Like, if they say something to me, I'll just say thanks and Whenever people are in my way when I try to ride, I just ride around the grass. Right. And that's what we're supposed to do, right? Social distancing. So that's yeah. going to be, that's a good thing. So, you know, if you get it at your age and, and, uh, and, and you can represent that, that's a good thing. As people are stubborn, man. The older generation are stubborn. They don't believe in that sort of, sort of social distancing. But, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good practice. So keep that up. Yeah. Has any of your items started selling better since COVID? You know, uh, well, we're still doing the, the Terry special and the Massey Twins special sandwiches. They're, they're always been going good, man. So that's always the best. You guys got to come and see the new name on the board. We got to get it up for you and your dad. Uh, so that stuff still sells well. You know, the stuff to sit there and do the groceries with, it's always good. So there's my wife. She don't want to get in there. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Everything is selling well. You know what's not selling so so hot? Sweet stuff. Things like, you know, chocolates and box of chocolates and that sort of thing. People are, are getting more of the foods, you know, that, you know, necessity food, I guess. You want to call a sandwich, pasta, sausages, and, and that sort of thing. So we're doing okay, man. Food that helps you grow, not that much sugar. Yeah. I mean, sugar makes you lazy, right? I would love sugar. Right well, now. not me. I just... I just... It does nothing to me. You guys crushed them bag of eggs when you did that show, uh, when you came here that Saturday, Bob and Tom show, the Massey Twins, you guys crushed that bag of Easter eggs. <laughs> I bet you when you left here, Terry was going, oh my God, what's going on? You guys were just like, probably just like Tasmanian devils. But yeah. it's a good thing. It's true. <laughs> a little sugar high. Oh, I bet you ain't Terry. <laughs> They're welcome to it. They're good boys, man. Uh, what is what was the inspiration for Gina's sausage? Uh, for Gina's sausage, uh, the inspiration was back then, and we have a butcher. We have a butcher in town who makes it for us, a butcher boy. Back then, 
Nobody made the sausage like that because this was already like 20 years ago. So just simple ingredients, fennel, the coarse ground meat, no filler, no binder. That's exactly what it was. My mom, when they came here, my parents came in, in the 60s or in the 50s. She used to want to, she just had to have to keep clean a can of pork and beans to get the beans out of there because, you know, there was no food for the time, you know, population, what they're used to. So the sausage was a part of that kind of uh, food uh, that she was missing from home. So that was the inspiration behind it, Gina Sausage. And the hot one, the hot boys, you know it. What is, what is your family doing in social isolation? So uh, my mom's on her own, my dad's in a home, me and my wife are at the house. Uh, it looks like nothing's changed for us. <laughs> nothing's changed for us at all, man. Hi, no. uh, Jesse Vasquez. Uh, I just wanted to say that back. Um, okay, next question. Um, why did Gino, your son, uh, get glasses? Uh, you know what? He, he got this laser surgery and... Uh, you know, he had a hard time uh, seeing, so he got glasses because he was missing some, some eyesight. So I think he was giving away too much change at the till. Maybe he wasn't counting the money up right. So now he's got the glasses on. Now he looks like you, Bob. It's a good look. He's got that good look like, like you have, man. Do you like his glasses on him? Do you like how he looks? I've never seen him. you never seen him yet? I have seen him. It's just that... Doesn't really change anything. By the way, yeah. everyone, I'm stronger than him. <laughs> I, know, I know who likes to rock and roll. It's Bob likes to rock and roll. No. <laughs> Tom likes to rock and roll. Yeah. He likes stupid rap. I like yeah. anything but rock. <laughs> I don't use anything but. So it's Tom that likes it. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Do you have any gluten-free sandwiches? Yes, we do. Thank you for asking. Gluten-free sandwiches, gluten-free pasta. Gluten-free sandwiches are with gluten-free bread, gluten-free meats. Everything is uh, non-gluten. No problem. Um, has someone brought an enormous amount, bought an enormous amount of sandwiches or product? Has anybody? Like lately? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what? There's, there's, been, uh, there's been a ton, man. People are buying for, uh, for you know, offices and uh, we're doing a lot of deliveries. Uh, somebody called in today and they want to do, uh, they want to buy a big lunch for 70 people at the, uh, uh, at the uh, research center where they're testing for the COVID, all these guys at Copel. So yeah, people are generous, man. We we've, we've been busy that way. So that's been uh, that's been happening. Anyone buy for healthcare workers? Yeah, that's what I was just, just saying right now, Tom. The lady phoned today, so we're gonna make something up next week for uh, the healthcare workers. Uh, Trifon's Pizza has done something this week, which was really great. They've been buying all the food. Not been buying all the food, but they've been giving a lot of meals to uh, the healthcare workers at the Copal at the testing centers. So that's just starting to spread around. So you're going to see a lot of businesses doing that. So we're up next week. Definitely going to do that. Give somebody a little kiss. By the way, by the way, uh, have merch. Italian Star Deli has merch inside of their store. And we have merch that they're only $20. And all the, every cent and dollar goes to COVID-19. That's pretty good. 20 bucks. That's cheap, man. That's a really good one. Remember, tomorrow we have the general ma manager of the Saskatoon Blades, Colin Priestner, joining Join us. us. So send us questions in advance of this if you want to. Hey, Tom, uh, Bob, you think Colin's got one of these things? Has he, has he got one of these? Has he got one of these, You're that, that Colin guy? I don't know. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh. <laughs> I, I, Who do I you guys think... got Friday? Uh, Friday. Who do we have? Oh, your turn. Corey? No. Cody. Cody. Co <laughs> we, have, we have Cody for Jardo. If, if you like, if you're and... in Saskatchewan, we have Cody for Jardo from the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. 
Oh, we might actually get jerseys. Might actually, like, seriously, it's a, it's an if, it's an if. How's that an if? Or a ne <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Please check out our next live it's tomorrow at one o'clock. Oh, how do they get stuff from him? Oh yeah. Oh, how do they shop now? How do you shop? How do how do customers shop? Who over here? Like for at Italian Star with the new stuff. Going yeah. On. How do they shop at Italian Star with the new stuff going on? So you know what? They're, they're just coming in like normal. So people are coming in. Some some have some you know masks and gloves on, but they're just coming in and just keeping their distance. And you know everything is is the same. I got my wife. I don't have my wife. My wife voluntarily does it. She's bleaching everything every hour. She's out there, so you'll see her. You you won't miss her because she's out there. She's she's seriously taking care of the stuff around here. But yeah, things are nothing any different than before, except some people are in hazmat suits and uh, you can't get close to them. Can people order in advance? Can people order in advance? Yes, lots of pre-orders are going on. Lots of curbside delivery, parking lot delivery, uh, lots Ooh. of that. So yeah, that's happening. <laughs> you know, we're really tired. I don't know why. You had a long day too, Bob, haven't you? Your day is done. It's only one o'clock and I'm tired. This is not good. One twenty-six. <laughs> we're almost done. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Um, hey, I'm supposed to do the outro. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> if you just joined, I'm sorry that we're ending this now and you just joined. But we, you can come see us tomorrow at 1 o'clock Tuesday. We're with the... Tomorrow's January. Wednesday. Oh, yeah. I won't... Oh, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So, you Wednesday, not I'm tomorrow. not going to be on the show. Just him. Because... Oh, who are we interviewing tomorrow? The general... Okay. Saskatoon blades. <laughs> Saskatoon. <laughs> okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you, Carlo. Bye. Thank you, Terry. Bye. Ciao. See you, Bobby. See you, Tommy. So, ciao, man. <laughs>